Hi guys, in this video here, just going to show you very good practice to double check and make sure your emails aren't going to spam. So a simple check you need to do. So in this case here, I got my backup um, to 9.8 and it was previously, let me just bring that up, it was 6.8. Okay, so there was an issue. So I had suspicions that my emails may not have been getting received uh, by my clients. Um, so this is a really simple thing to do. So the tool I'm using here, and you'll see the top of the page, uh, it is mailtester.com. So all you need to do is when you get to Mailtester, so you'll be greeted with this. So all you need to do is whatever email you're testing that you send out to your clients, perhaps you may have templated emails, I don't know how you operate, but in any case, um, it's best to send test emails to this. So this best practice free service will test it for you and give you guidance. So again, um, mine was poor, 6.8, and there was a culprit. And the culprit was, was this here. There was a SPF record that had include, and then it had the name of the software. So I didn't want to slander the software because it is good software. Um, but in this case, it didn't, didn't work for me and it um, caused a penalty of negative three. So that's the big difference. So I just deleted it and I changed it to the generic SPF record, which is this one here. And Google is your friend, you know, pardon the palm, but Google, if, if you're not sure how to fix the SPF records, just Google it. Um, another good thing is uh, Mail Tester has guides down here too. So um, what you'll see is is down here so you'll see SPF guides and whatnot so we'll give you some guidance as well so you can't quite see that this one here SPF guides and check so so why so the obvious reason is you want to make sure your emails are being delivered but also you may have been testing different software that actually um, sends your emails out and you may not be using those the software anymore but in setting that up you had to alter uh, the records so you may use Cloudflare or wherever else you're putting your records FPS records and text records and the like um, And it just might become an absolute mess and there's a lot of redundancy that's actually causing email deliverability So that's how you fix it um, So using simple tool like mailtest.com will save you and make sure your email is being delivered make sure you're sending and receiving as desired Good on you. Bye for now. Matt K. Bill's K. Cheers.